And the whole foundation of hip hop is is based on doing shit not as it's supposed to be done, you know? Like having your own style, having your own identity, being away from the norm, having the biggest coat, having the most puffy laces, the biggest laces, having, you know, doing extreme outrageous things to get people's attention and, and make them realize that, that uh, there's other stuff out there, you know what I'm saying? So that's the bottom line is, fuck yeah, we're violating the way the turntable is meant to be, and that's the point. Definitely, I'm definitely defying the laws of records and record playing. You know, instead of sitting down and listening to a record, which I love to do, it's a big part of my life, it's kind of taking little pieces out of it and rearranging them and creating new thoughts and ideas with it, new feelings and emotions that necessarily can't be done by listening to records. Like, it's your own personal take on the music you listen to, which is really cool. I think that when I, you know, take a sound and I scratch it or something like that, it does change, it does change the meaning of the original sample somewhat, but at the same time it also holds a lot of the qualities that that, that sound originally had or the meaning that that sound had. And that's, I think that's part of um, turntablism, that's part of DJing in a, in a major way is bringing back you know, all these familiar, these familiar sounds and these familiar songs and presenting them in a new way to people. If you're scratching a bass drum kick and you're throwing in a snare on it, you know, that's your sound. That bass drum, that kick, that's yours. That's not someone's, that's, you know, there's a gazillion bass and snares out there. If you play it and make it yours, it's yours. The ownership of sound is defined by how you use it. If you take it and you scratch it, you know, nuts, it you know, changes it up to the point where people can't really tell what the original sound is. Just putting my energy into the sample, hearing something that's not there, and uh, kind of putting my own spin on it, you know, flipping it, maybe just putting good energy, positive energy into it. Uh, you're just utilizing it kind of as a tool. This patch, the sound that someone else made, you're just utilizing it as a tool and changing it the way that you want to in order to make whatever composition you're trying to make. If you're taking a sample, you should be able to make it distinct. Like, it should sound like you're scratching it. Like, if you just want to make cuts that sound like someone else, then you might want to rethink what you're doing, I guess. So, I've always tried to, to make it unique to, to my style and the things that I'm into. When you take a sound and scratch it, yeah, it's, uh, it becomes your own thing because you're putting your own style and personality into the scratch that you're doing with it. Really, you can just build and make anything you want out of it. I think turntablism definitely brings people together and I think that, you know, it's kind of like a crew clan thing, you know? I mean, I definitely know that like, there's kind of a camaraderie in it between the turntablists, you know, and when you meet someone, you know, you, you, and you've been a turntablist yourself, you know the dedication that it took for them to get there. But really, you could fly somebody in from like Japan and sit down and like we could have a conversation back and forth because that's what music is, it's like an international language. So we may not be able to speak the same verbal language, but we could talk to each other through scratching. People that really scratch and are really into it totally connect with each other. Because of that, I've been able to meet and scratch with and hang out with and make friends with people all over the world. For me, it's not even me scratching. It's, you know, something's going on and I'm not really there, but there's sounds coming out of my hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm lost and I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing and that's when it gets really good, you know? It allows me to just kind of lose myself into what I'm doing and express myself how I want to express myself. Scratching to me is definitely somewhat of, a, of an outer body experience, sort of. I mean, it's kind of like the focus is so intense and it's almost like, you know, being in a different world kind of because once you really have that focus centered, everything around you isn't really there, you know, and you're so just focused on the sound and, and, and what's happening right there at the moment. That's how I relieve my stress, that's how I 
get through crises, you know, girl things or whatnot, school things. It's kind of just like a way for me to meditate and focus my energy. So if I didn't have that as an outlet, um, I definitely wouldn't be happy. I'd probably try and find something else, maybe more of just straight meditation. But the way I look at it right now, it kind of just gets me through the day, you know. You know, if I ever considered losing, like, the ability of using my hands, just that is probably the scariest thing possible because I wouldn't know what I would do. There would just be a hole. Like I've lost all my equipment and had to, had everything I wanted, lost it all, and had to rebuild it up from nothing. So like, uh, it's hard to put in words, but you know, when I wasn't able to do it, I'd get slightly, I'd get depressed, kind of annoyed and angry. And when I am able to do it, I feel happy and better. I mean, if I didn't have it to do, man, I'd be fucked. But if I didn't even have it to listen to at all, if it just didn't exist, I mean, I guess we'd have to come up with something else. We'd have to, we'd have to find something else to trick out and, and violate and use the wrong way and, and uh, blow people's minds with, you know? We just, it's all about evolution, you know? <laughs> Personal feelings on the turn. They're a bunch of nerds. I don't know. How's it, why? Why are turntables <laughs> nerds? Uh, let's see. We all hang out and just spend way too much time playing records. Well, why is that nerdy? I don't know. We should be trying to get laid. <laughs>